don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell hey guys welcome back to sahara football as usual i am your host alas if you are here. today we're going to talk about the world cup draw that's going to be held tomorrow the ports have been declared the port in which the various teams are in have been declared and we now know where ghana will be in the port and other countries the draw will be held on tuesday and we'll know which teams will face which teams for the chance to play in qatar 2020 too. I'm also going to talk to you about Coach Chris Yapia. He has revealed three players he feels will be great, great coaches once they retire from their playing careers. And also, Moraka Kasu. I brought you a story that he will not be renewing his contract with Deportivo Alaves. It looks like he is off to China. I'll be giving you more details on that as usual. If you're new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. And check out our merch. Links are in the description. More amazing stuff coming this way support the channel through those links in the description so without much ado i get right into it and we all know that the qatar 2022 world cup qualifiers will be played this march the black stars will be taking part in it after the preliminary stages they were excluded in it based on their fifa rankings and we all know the other teams that will be joining the other federations in africa to play in the qatar 2022 world cup qualifies the ports were declared by CAF recently and Ghana have been placed in port one I'll take you through the various ports and when the draw will be held we will know exactly who will be facing who in port one are Senegal Tunisia Nigeria Algeria Morocco Ghana Egypt Cameroon Mali and DR Congo in port two are Burkina Faso Cote d'Ivoire South Africa Guinea Uganda, Cape Verde, Gabon, Benin, Zambia, and Congo. Imports 3 are Madagascar, Mauritania, Libya, Mozambique, Kenya, Central Africa, Zimbabwe, Niger, Namibia, and Guinea-Bissau. Malawi, Angola, Togo, Sudan, Rwanda, Tanzania, Equatorial Guinea, Ethiopia, Liberia, Djibouti, make up port four so these are the four ports where the draw will be placed made from it will be done on tuesday tomorrow and we will know who will be facing who in the world cup qualifiers 2022 world cup qualifiers are going to begin in ns remember the 2021 african cup of nations qualifiers have already begun and two games have already been played out of six march will mark an international break in mid in mid march and we will now know which games will be ghana will be playing which team ghana will be playing in the world cup qualifier 2022 so these are the ports that have been declared by CAF, and it's sure to be an interesting draw come tomorrow tuesday so that is it there with the world cup 2022 qatar is sure to be an interesting and amazing one i'm really looking forward to who ghana will face remember there are still five slots for africa after unfortunately the world cup was not able to be expanded to a 48 team tournament that was the initial proposal by fifa if it had happened africa would have gotten nine slots and it would have been quite interesting but for now it is still 32 team world cup and five slots for africa still so i move on to my next story it has to do with coach kwesiapia he has revealed three players who are currently active that he feels will be great coaches once they fully retire remember coach kwesiapia has been sacked from the black stars i recently brought you a story about him not being paid his due i think that will be sorted out i have heard something in that effect now former black stars coach kwesiapia has tipped as someone jan andre are you and michael asian to become great coaches if they decide to make a career in management the trio according to appear have shown great leadership qualities during his time as coach of the black stars but pointed out that asian would have to improve his interpersonal skills i think michael asian has himself revealed as much that he is not a loud person he's not an outspoken person and from his interviews sometimes you can see it he struggles to talk freely as you put it and michael asian has said that probably management isn't a thing for him but recently we heard he was getting his coaching badges 
and now coach Chris Apia is advising him to work on his interpersonal skills because Apia insists the ex Chelsea stars reserved in nature could be a problem in coaching by Chris Apia not reserved himself this is what he said not every player wants the coaching job because most of these players feel there is a lot of pressure in being a coach he told Otec FM but players who become coaches are players who are leaders on the pitch they know how to control their players and motivate them on the pitch even after retiring these players used to show leadership attitudes and keep them will be coaches asked if he can name any of the players he coached can be managers in the future he gave three names i think as someone jam has the qualities to be a coach andre has the quality of motivating players and so if he becomes a coach one day it won't surprise me someone like ACN he can be a good coach but his only problem will be how to learn how to get close to his players because he's someone who is very reserved so that is it there from coach Quisia Pia recommending his top three players who he feels will be future coaches for the black stars or for any they will be they will do amazingly well in management let me know your thoughts whether you agree with coach Kwesi Apia on this I move on to my next story it has to do with Mubarak Kwakasu and his move out of Deportivo Alaves it is revealed that he might move to China to join Jiangsu Suning now the Ghana midfielder is set to leave Spanish top side to join Chinese Super League campaigners Jiangsu Suning in a bumper transfer deal now the 30 year old according to Ghana Soccer Net traveled from Spain to the Asian country on Saturday night to seal the deal ahead of the start of the new term. Now Alaves player has already agreed his departure from the Spanish La Liga side after negotiations between the two parties. He will undergo a medical in China on Sunday before completing the move that could quadruple his wages. With six months left on his contract and his decision not to extend his stay, Alaves have decided to allow him to cash in before Wakasu leaves for free in June when the contract expires. Alaves wants to thank Wakasu for his professionalism and dedication during his time and wishes him best of luck in the next stage. Alaves said in a statement on Saturday night. The Ghana International arrived at Mezironto in the summer of 2017 and after making the desired impact in the first two seasons, he has become a key player for the squad. He played 1,285 minutes in 16 matches this season along starting 15 of them. He is the most carded player in La Liga this season with 11 yellow cards twice in one game which resulted in his expulsion in the Granada game. So it looks set for Mubarak Wakasu, China making the big bucks there. So many advantages there for him. But do you think in this point in his career that is the best move for Mubarak Wakasu? Do you think he should have moved to China? Are you in agreement with this China move? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on this. Let me know everything i've talked about what you think about it coach chris Apia says these three players mike lesian has to work on his interpersonal skills andre are you and asamwajan can be great coaches in the future and also we have looked at the world cup 2022 draws the pot have been reviewed for the draw which takes place tomorrow i'll be bringing you updates as to the opponents and the group that ghana will be placed in let me know your thoughts in the comments box Tell up, check out our merch in the description i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day have a super amazing week today we're going to talk about the calf qualifying procedure for the fifa world cup 2022 edition i'm going to walk you through it well, this is how the procedure is a preliminary round of games that's for the least ranked teams in africa they are 28 in number they will take part in a knockout phase football so first of all there are 54 countries in africa 28 lowest ranked teams will take part in the initial preliminary qualifiers and after that 14 will be left now that 14 will join the exempted 26 countries that are the top rank in africa and they will play in groups of 10 10 groups with four teams in each group that's 40 countries will take part in that group of qualifying then the top 10 in each 
the first in each group will come together to form a top 10 five lower ranked teams will play against their five top ranked teams and then we'll have a five representatives for the world cup 2022 yes yeah, so that's the procedure